Welcome. So what I want to do today is kind of talk to you a little bit about slope because I think slope gets a lot of students confused and I'm going to go through a whole series on you know showing you how to determine the slope but to determine slope we still need to have a general understanding of what exactly is slope. So let's just uh, kind of take a look at a couple graphs. And I'm going to graph some nice linear graphs here. All right. And what I'm going to do, this line with the arrows, that's going to represent my line. OK. So what you kind of determine as this line, you can see that this line from going left to right, just like how we read, we read from left to right, we also read a graph from left to right. So as I'm going left to right, you can see that this graph is not changing, right? I'm just keeping at a steady rate. If I was going to continue this line, I'm kind of keeping at a nice steady rate. This is what we're going to have as a slope of 0. All right, So this would be a 0 slope. And then you can see that this one starts to increase. So from going to left to right, my slope is increasing. Here it's increasing more and increasing more, and increasing more. And then I get to a full vertical line, which means we're actually going to have a slope as undefined, which I'll explain in some other videos. But what slope represents is the change in my how I'm going from left to right as far as my x-coordinates as to in comparison to my y-coordinates. So as you can see from, you know, if I had a point from the left to the right for each one of these, right? And let's pretend that distance is exactly the same. All right. So if I was to take the measurement of the distance between each one of these points, let's say the distance um, between those two points is exactly the same. Or maybe you know, it's going to be a little bit a little bit better. You can see that the distance between these points um, is shorter, obviously, than the distance between these two points. Right? However, what we want to notice is the, di the, the, the ratio between the distance of the x values, or going left to right, between the distance of our y values. And you can see that the distance is much farther left and right than it is up and down. When in comparison to this line, the distance up and down is much larger than the distance left and right. So when talking about slope, and it's very similar to our definition of rate of change, but the definition of slope is you know, the change in our y coordinates. So how much a graph changes between two points vertically over the change in how two points change horizontally. And you can see that this graph, see this graph changes vertically, but there's no change horizontally. And we'll talk about why that's going to give us an undefined slope and why this one changes only horizontally. It does not change vertically, but that gives us a slope of 0. And when we have a graph that's going to um, give this the exact same change left and right as well as the change up and down, that's what we call our identity function when dealing with this. So all change is is really the change in between two points. And the larger and more steeper it gets, that is going to give us a larger and larger value of our slope. If it goes down, all right, so if it's horizontal, we call it 0. And if it's going down, that's actually going to give us a negative number. And my value of that would be something looks like this. So instead of it going up, as I read from left to right, if my graph goes farther and farther down, then that's going to produce what we call a negative slope. All right, so here would be an example of all positive, And I didn't draw x and y axes here. We could do that. And here would be an example of a negative slope as the line gets steeper and steeper going down in the negative direction as you read from left to right. So we're going to get into some formulas and how to determine the slope. But I just kind of want to give you a general definition of what really slope represents, the change in our y-coordinates over the change in our x-coordinates. Thanks. <laughs>